you were mentioning earlier also, I mean, I'm thinking about, you know, what are the material conditions um, that, I mean, we've talked about the material conditions that have created these, these various, you know, the Catholic church and um, extractive industries. You talked about how many of these podcasts about MMIWG um, are centered on Montana. Yeah. So I, um, I mean, I, I watch a lot of the stuff and I listen to a lot of the stuff about MMIWG just because first of all, it's, it's a real thing, right. That's happening that we need to address. And I want to hear what people are saying about it. You know, um, I want to understand it better, but up and vanished, which is like one of the OG true crime podcasts. Um, it's hosted by someone named Payne Lindsay and tenderfoot productions, but up and vanished. Um, I think it was their first season. I forgot what year that was, but they actually solved a, a murder case with the podcast. Right. And so this, like, this thing with some of these true crime podcasts where they actually solved real cold cases became like a sensation in the world of podcasting. And then all of these other podcasts cropped up to do this. And so Up and Vanished did an entire season. Season three in 2021 was about um, Ashley Loring Heavy Runner, I believe um, is her name. And that was an MMIWG case in Montana. NBC News just last year, maybe the year before, also did a feature um, documentary through Datelines, the Vanished series on um, MMIWG, a number of MMIWG cold cases in Montana. Um, and then I didn't even know this. I haven't watched this yet, but a brand new docuseries partly produced, I think, and directed by indigenous folks came out on Showtime this year called Murder and Bighorn, also taking place in Montana. Um, and then, of course, the first season of Stolen um, is documenting a uh, MMIWG case in Montana. So I'm not sure. So you were saying, Elena, that like Albuquerque and Seattle have actually the highest rates of MMIWG um, in the country, correct? New Mexico has the yeah. highest as the state, correct? Per capita. Yep. But there, per capita. those are per capita statistics. And yeah, it's Seattle and Albuquerque are the two top cities. New Mexico, I think, is is up in the top five for states. Okay. And considering the population, we you know that's that's high. 